The boys' season four finale is coming, and there will be some major casualties. What's up, guys? This is Jim from the Town TV podcast, and today I want to talk about two characters that I definitely think are not going to make it, and a few honorable mentions. Spoiler warning for the boys' season four. Number one on my list is Victoria Newman. My theory for the finale is that Sage's plan is not going to work, and Homelander is going to crack and finally get over his need for love and affection and decide it's time for him to take over the country through power and fear. Unfortunately for Newman, this will end her journey to the presidency. Homelander has been working with Newman mainly because he knows she's a secret soup and her becoming the vice president and then the president would benefit him as the most powerful soup on the planet. However, if the plan fails, I have a feeling he won't think he needs her anymore and he will come out in the open as a force leader. We know Homelander always wants to be the center of attention and the leader, and in the episode with Tech Knight's party, while Victoria was supposed to be a part of the plan, he wasn't too happy when she took over for him during the speech, and the room instantly pledged to her. In order for Homelander to become the series' final big bad, besides the possibility of Butcher, which I talk about in another video, and for him to take over the country, Newman is going to have to be out of his way. With her showing shades of hesitancy and remorse in the last episode with Huey, I'm thinking she's in for a sad death. I'm thinking most of Season five's story will be about Homelander taking over the country ruthlessly with a soup army and the boys' crew needing to deal with it. I have a feeling Season 5 is going to be all action and there won't be too much room for plotting and scheming, especially on the antagonist side. Which leads me to number 2 on the death list, Sister Sage. If my theory is correct and her plan fails, I think Homelander is going to fully go crazy and take her out believing her plots and schemes are just in the way. As I said before, I think Season 5 is going to be about Homelander seeking total domination, not through schemes or plots, but through fear and power. This will leave nothing for Sage to do unless she decides to help the boys out. A Sage plan to beat Homelander would be a great option for the boys, but my money's going to be on her not making it. If she stayed in the equation during Season 5, I think it would be too much of a distraction to the main plot with only one season left in the whole series. If we're going to have a Homelander and a Joe Kessler plot, I don't think we can fit in a Victoria Newman and a Sister Sage plot in one final season. Now, a few honorable mentions. Frenchie is definitely an option to die in the finale. This season hasn't really given him much to do, but his big purpose for the finale could be his death finally bringing Kimiko to speak. She's fallen from buildings, been shot, had her legs sawed off, you name it, and she hasn't made a peep. It would be a really powerful moment if her first real words are leading up to, during, or immediately after Frenchie's death. The next option here is MM, and this is solely because they've really been harping on the fact that he wants to protect his family, his wife finally wants him back, and wants him to quit and join them, but he decides he needs to stay to protect them and everyone else. Usually these kind of stories lead to a character having a very sad death and I could see it. Even though my boy MM doesn't deserve it, I think he is on the list and if he does die it may be the saddest death of the show so far. And lastly of course is A-Train. I'm going to go ahead and say he doesn't die in this episode because it seems so obvious with his redemption arc and the title of the finale episode being Assassination Run. Wink wink, check the comics if you want the easter egg for that. I think he will die, but not until next season. Let's have his redemption arc last a little bit longer, it does seem to be a fan favorite for this season. Alright guys, that's my list of possible deaths for the season finale, and I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments, and if you have any other theories you want me to break down, leave it in the comments and I will definitely get to it. And of course, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, because a lot more are coming. Alright, until next time guys.